to Stephen's point a couple of uh, questions ago about sort of how you get into writing and the keys to the kingdom. And everybody's experience is different. I kind of, quote unquote, fell into it a couple of years ago. And that was just through networking, just through a person, a friend of a friend, wanted me, knew I had interest in in pop culture and television, and they wanted me to uh, rewrite this television, television section for an encyclopedia that was coming up. And that just kind of started my whole career in writing. And up until that point, I was just working on a pile of unfinished screenplays you know, over the years, and that was about it. So it, it, everybody's experience is different, and it's really, you never know the person you meet today at, like, at a convention like this, who knows they could be a business partner you know, a year from now or something. So that's why those are always great opportunities just to we have to chat with people and network, and that's primarily what a lot of us are here for. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, I should say in my publishing story, because it's kind of a cool one. Um, well, I, uh, you know, like the rest of us, I write, write forever. And uh, I went to a world horror convention, and um, I had a reading, and two people were in the room for my reading. <laughs> And I was like, oh, goddamn. <laughs> you know, but I read two little people in the room. And so I did my whole reading for half an hour, whatever, my little story. And at the end of the reading, the, they come up to me, and the, the man shakes my hand. He says, hi, I'm Don Doria from Leisure Books. He's the man. I'd been sending, I, I'd sent him five books at that point over several years. And he said, you haven't sent me anything lately. I said, well, I, I figured you don't care. <laughs> Maybe not publishing. He goes, no, no, no. He said, you're excellent. You just keep writing. And again, that because that, that book I said I self-published, because no no uh, slot, you know, he that was one of the books he loved. He loved it. Can't, he said, it's not a horror. He can't do it. You know, give me a horror. It has to be straight horror, none of this hybrid stuff. So I pitched a house of pain, and boom, I did four books with Legion. But so, you know, two people in the room, that was the dude. <laughs> that was the guy I've been trying to see for 10 years. I had no idea it was him. So you just never know who's going to be there. Or who's, so always be nice to everyone. And you have two people at your reading, read. <laughs> I'll, I'll just quickly give my convention story. I was at World Fantasy a couple of years ago. And I'm standing at the table plugging Nuki Kubai, my novel. And um, this little guy comes up, wild gray hair. You'd think that he was made out of pipe cleaners, okay? So I'm there, oh, hi, how's it going? Well, are you interested in modern fantasy at all? And he smiles a little and he says, yes, I, I, I do read some. And, oh, okay, well, this is Nuki Kabai, and it is a, and I, I, then I paused to read his name tag. Charles the Lint. Basically the king of Canadian modern fantasy. <laughs> and I'm just going, oh, you're you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, please take this gra gratis. And I gave him, I just gave him a copy because he's Charles the Lint, and I've been a fan for years. But uh, we were wonderfully gracious about it, but, you know, read the name tag before you stick your foot in it. <laughs> oh, and I should circle back, circle back my own story, is that my new book came out a month ago from Sam Hain Publishing, and Stephanie publishes with Sam Hain too. Don Doria is the dude there now, because Leisure tanked, like Leisure, Dorchester, huh. that whole, you know, they, they died about three years ago, so Don went over to Sam Hain, and since we had a history from Leisure, I now work for Sam Hain, so, you know, it all, it all happens, mm. so even though, you know, everything was really horrible for a few years there, you know, like, you just gotta just keep doing your job, you know, show up, do your job, be nice, you don't have to always be nice, but you know what I mean, but... <laughs> There's some real assholes out there. They're doing really well. <laughs> you know? Anyways, quick last words. Last words. Last words. Join the Horror Writers Association. It will help you. Yeah. So we all have booths along the side. And the uh, Horror Writers Association Ontario branch, we have our table at A137. And you can sign up for our newsletter and get more uh, business cards and brochures at the table. Come and see us. Friend me on Facebook, Sephora. You know, come to my by my booth, whatever, and... Yeah, but any other questions, we're here for the remainder of the weekend, and like, it, like you said, uh, we have tables along uh, P Row, which is right towards the entrance to the uh, food court.
Great, thank you for coming. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. He struggles to undo the damage caused by a long ago war that is threatening to destroy his world and leave it a barren wasteland. She fights to maintain custody of her beloved son against the man who abandoned her when she was pregnant nine years before and has the, now has the backing of a fanatic religious cult bent on the hatred of all she holds dear. Can they help each other? And what of the love that grows between them? For more on this work and the other works by Stephen B. Pearl, please visit www.stphenpearl.com.